Alrighty, so we're gonna get started now. Uh, Ray, you were walking off to go do what? Uh, I was gonna go do the Leviathan test. Alright. Uh, next, you do see Ray starting to walk off. Oh, where are you going, Ray? Oh, you're alive and such. I was gonna go do the Leviathan test. Wanna come? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I did not want to go alone. Your brother, Ray, says, I'm going to do instruction construction on the castle. Really? Never mind. Okay. <sighs> okay. You two both head off. Yeah. Where is it y'all are planning on going? Oh, that's right. We don't really know exactly how to get to the place. <laughs> um. Um. Ray went brain dead. <laughs> Did you get Wherever distracted, Nicole? My... No. I didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> I'm just gonna be a DM. <laughs> Where are you guys going? Uh... No idea! We gotta, we gotta figure out how to get to the pit. Though, do we really have to go there, like, straight away? I don't think he really gave us a win, did he? He didn't give us a win. He didn't give us a win. Hmm. What are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm just looking over to the others. The people that are far away from you? Yep. Nyx. Yes. We, we, we should probably go. What, now? Uh, I, I mean, sorry, that was an, that was an incomplete statement. We should probably go and ask them, um... Oh my gosh, what is English? English don't exist. I'm sorry, Nyx. I'm struggling right now. You're okay, let's go and ask them if they can help us. I'm just gonna just kinda just Thank grab you. their just kinda guide them over. <laughs> okay, I we're back home. <laughs> Hurry and Easy are just home. kind of sitting around each other. We did not know what we were doing. No shit. Yeah, we don't really know how to get to the pit. No shit. Yeah. So Do what you guys know? Dude, we are so done helping you guys, Iziel says. That's, that's true. But, okay, we'll just ask someone else for information then. Y'all are like lost puppies, away. always going to people and asking for help. That's because we don't live in nowhere. You're an adult. Are. You are an adult. Maintain. That's an adult. A young adult, a very immature adult, someone who does not know what she is doing. So, by that being said, since you do not want to help, I shall find someone. <laughs> so, using that logic, you're going to people that are younger than you for help. Goofy. 
<laughs> Iziel just walks. <laughs> Iziel just walks inside. Wait a minute. It's been a two-year gap and everything. That means you guys have aged around two years and everything. But our ages were delayed. Am I actually still eighteen or am I actually twenty now? Wait. Um. My mentality is eighteen. Ikari, Ikari <laughs> says, Nix, you are eighteen, and so are we. Well, so am I. I'm seventeen, but. We are the same age as we always been. Just because, you know, time skipped two years doesn't mean that we stayed here. No, I know, but it doesn't mean that we exactly be staying the same age. Yeah. You guys are still the age that you were. Okay. Yeah, there's no paradox for something you weren't there for. I was just processing my... Bro, you better put that sass away. Ain't no doing no sass. Nix. What? Stop it. What? So. Hmm? Obviously, we gotta figure this one out. Yeah, alright. We'll just go see you guys. We'll figure this out. I'm just gonna just walk away into the distance. Wait, haven't you two numbskulls already went to the underworld? We've already gone to the underworld. Just figure out how to get there again. Exactly. I swear I just heard you say ink sack. <laughs> no, I did not say that. <laughs> Why would I- where and where would I fit that to make sense? Nick, since when do you actually ever make sense? That's true. Y'all, please, Ikari says. Please. Please, for the benefit of both me and AZL's health and well-being, grow up. Nah. <laughs> alright, alright, Ray, you ready to teleport over? Nikari just shakes well, his head and walks inside. I guess we'll figure out if I even can. I mean, we've been there before, so if anything, we'll be around to the first level. Then I guess we'll just have to start searching all the way down. Without dying. Or being eaten alive. Or that same thing as dying. But you know. Ready? I mean, the pit is, like, uh, people live there. Not that's true, but I don't... Me, I don't think. But... Yeah, that's true, but that doesn't mean that it's any less dangerous. <laughs> Sorry, we'll get out of your hair. Nobody's around you. <laughs> oh, did they leave? Yeah. Yeah, they got tired of us and then said to go. Yeah, they got really annoyed and then just left. Ikari especially, he seems super frustrated. What's going on Wait, with that? Wait, I'm genuinely confused. Why were they so upset? We were trying to figure it out. You asking Oxygen now? I'm asking Nyx. Mm -hmm. Nyx oh. doesn't know. I don't know why I'm asking Nyx. I mean... Maybe... Maybe it was just the fact that we're just kind of going everywhere. And then going to them, because we always go to them. And then it's just repetitive. And then, you know. Or there could be another story. Maybe it's just what they said. We need to grow up. Oh, boy. They're not wrong. I have... Our child is. All right, are you ready to teleport over? Or at least yeah. try to. Yeah. You ever notice the silence in between y'all's speech? 
your speech, Ray? Uh, Morgan, Nicole specifically? Shit's deafening. I'm just leaving Lucas's turn to speak. I'm not really trying to space things, I don't think. I wasn't talking about you or to you. <laughs> You're saying both of us. At some I, point. I meant I meant Nicole. Okay. Yeah. Lucas, what do you do? I just don't know if it'll work is the only thing. I'm sorry. Um, that, that I do try and teleport us to the pit. Attempting to teleport to the underworld, Iris says, How many times do I gotta tell y'all asses that the underworld is closed? As he appears in front oh, of you. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's why I didn't think it would work. If I gotta do it again, I'm gonna send y'all there for a permanent visit. It was just a test given by a random man who sells things. I honestly, forgot. Ray, I, I don't care why you guys were doing it, but look, if you want to get to the underworld, you have to find a gate. <coughs> mm -hmm. I have no idea where one is. They're random. They move around. They're found in caves, usually, and they never stay permanently there for 20, 20, fuck, 24 hours. You want to find a gate? Hey. Gate, go explore around. Okay. Thank you. That good? Everything? Everything okay? Do y'all need anything else? Yeah. No. No. That okay. I can think of. A hug, a high five, some information, some affirmation. What? High five, please. Sure. <laughs> Yay! High five. Iris gives you a high five. <laughs> Yay! That lightened my mood. Ray? Mm -hmm. Do you need anything? No, I'm good. Alright, bye. He tell he uh goes away in a tornado of in a flame. Mr. Man, Fashion. we're annoying everyone so far. He didn't seem that annoyed. I don't think. <laughs> How many times do I gotta tell y'all asses? That's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, as far as I know, it's just the way Iris talks. That don't mean he ain't slightly annoyed. So let's go find their gate. Okay. Time for my original plan. Pick a direction and walk. Ah, <sighs> alright. Gonna go to the zone. Let's go from... Just gonna scan the area to any just, like, interesting path. Eventually, you find a cave. Oh. Well, that's just, that, that, that was fast. Uh, point over to cave. Cave. We shall... Um, look at cave without almost dying. You know you can't control that last part? Huh? You know you can't control that last part? That's true! <laughs> But we don't want to expect to die, because then we will. So, let's make it out alive. Um, I'm thinking that I'm just walking while I do this. I'm thinking that maybe once we get to over to the cave, I can send one of the butterflies in as like a light source to kind of search. So it can guide you guys as well. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Be very helpful. <clears throat> yeah. Tried to do it a few times, and it actually works nicely, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna keep walking to the cave. Yeah, I got you. Eventually, you guys are led into the cave, uh, lighting up the way. It's a very wide cave. Eventually, after a little bit of walking through the cave, the wet floor... And everything, y'all hear people muttering and talking at the end of the gate, at the inside. Ooh, I'm gonna just. Alright, I'm gonna turn off. I'm, I'm gonna get rid of the light, okay, Ray? Yeah, you're good. I'm, I'm just gonna kind of get rid of the butterfly and just start kind of 
Staying out of view and listening in. It doesn't sound like they're talking t about anything in particularly interesting yet. Just kind of joking around with each other and whatnot. The, vo none of the voices sound familiar or any certain topics that are mentioned that are? No, not at all. Actually, one topic does. It sounds like they're talking about, like, summoning something that will bring upon the end of the world. Or trying to prevent it. Or something. They're just on the topic. They sound like they're all pretty friendly towards each other and whatnot. Hmm. What do you think we should do? I don't think we should go in. I also don't uh, think it's safe for us to stay. Okay, we shouldn't be listening to this. Yep. It's gonna start walking. Walking out of that cave. Carefully. Eventually they bring up the destruction of the King of Leviathans. Mm. Listening in. <laughs> Almost as if one of them was there. I'm gonna listen carefully. Yeah, listen carefully. They seem to be talking about bringing it back, and that the destruction was needed to bring it onto the onto planet Emmet. I think that we should go ahead and tell your brother and the others about it. Yeah. Let's go. Just start carefully walking out of the cave. Alright, hold on. You, you... Lucas, what are you going to be doing? Quiet, carefully and quietly following her. Alright, I'm gonna give you all this time to talk amongst each other for right now. Turning around, you see this guy really, really close to y'all. What are you guys talking about? What? Oh. He's just there. Like, he just teleported. Talking about leaving from or exploring a cave. Why? Because... kind of want to go find a different cave. Yeah. You got a better game. Yeah, y'all are staying here. No, thank you. Let's go. <laughs> you don't Start. really have much of a choice. Uh, yeah, Ray good. starts involuntarily <laughs> coughing. Like. Oh crud! No. Like really bad. I invite you guys to stay. Okay. Just um, whatever the heck is happening to my friend, please can you make it stop? <laughs> no. No, for right now, she's going to keep coughing. I just... <laughs> I literally... <laughs> didn't do anything. <laughs> I know, I'm setting an example out of you, goofus. I don't want to be caught by these people either. Oh, you thought I was with them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. No, I'm looking for a portal to the underworld. You too? I need to get to the forest. So what's the plan? Look, I don't know. I'd rather not try to provoke a group of people. What do you if mean provoke them? Because I don't know what they're capable of. You're literally a destroyer, and you're scared of a group of cave dwellers. I just don't 
feel like fighting a bunch of people. Coward. I'm kidding. Wow. Kidding, dude. <laughs> Don't be so sensitive. I'm not. Mm. Uh, Ray, you your throat feels completely clear. <clears throat> It's fine, it was just a minor cough. Okay. I wasn't talking to you. I was worried about my friend, it's reassuring to know that they're okay. Yeah, so... Y'all can leave, but I suggest you don't. Why is that? Because there's a fucking portal here! Y'all are willing to throw that away over a couple of people? No. No. Alright, I'm tired of sitting here. Yeah. Just, uh... Okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna just start turning back over to where the people are. Okay, so I guess we just gotta confront them. Or we try and sneak by him. That's not like fun. Was it a large group? It was like four or five people. <laughs> Why do you ask? I don't think sneaking by him. Is that what happened last time you tried to sneak? Yeah, when was that? Long ago? <laughs> I have a question. Yeah? Do you guys see a group of men and immediately think hostile? No. Because no. you seem to do it well, quite a strangers. bit. Maybe quite a bit. You, wait, do you know us or something? Oh my know. gosh. I'm, I'm being cautious because last time we've been in a situation uncannily similar to this. Holy shit! Cave dwellers, and you found them in a cave. Twice. And that's similar. That's crazy! I could have never guessed. Never mind. Yeah, I know, I'm a sarcastic dickhead. Should we try going talking to them? Probably. And if not, just cap them. What? And if not, just cap them. Or knock him out or do whatever it is you guys do. Mm, I don't even want to just kill a bunch of people, so then that's valid enough besides just trying to get through, but at the same time, I don't know how to what to do to knock them out. I mean if they attack us. Oh my gosh, dude. How many misunderstandings do you guys have per day? How many misunderstandings or how many? Who knows? Misunderstandings or miscommunications or whatever. Probably more than we realize. Yeah, no shit. Dude, I'm tired of sitting here talking. Like, I'm tired of- I'm sick of just sitting here. Okay, well... It doesn't seem like any kind of the same size but okay, we'll just follow you, we then. What? No, huh? gross. I'm not here to lead you guys. I'm just here to give y'all encouragement. As he walks away. Very encouraging. Alright. Ray, what do you feel most comfortable with? Yeah, I was just gonna... Uh... Hmm? Yeah. Brave, relax, yeah. relax. Yeah, that, yeah. I think we should just go and talk. Okay, okay, wait, 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 hold on, wait, 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 out of character, blip. I think we should go talk to him, come on. Alright. You guys walk out and talk? Yeah. They're all just like, um, before you guys even say anything, they're all just kind of like chilling around, talking with each other, laughing and whatnot. 
I'm just gonna try to try to walk past them casually. Hey, where are you going? Two people stand in front of you. Oh, we just need to quickly get through and then we're out of here. Why? We were just kind of given a task. It's. Oh, are you guys looking for know. the portal too? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, it's not opened yet, so just y'all might want to sit here and wait for a little bit. You can go look at it. It, it's not opened. Alrighty. Do you know how the portal works? So, from what I understand, the portal is uh um, how do I explain this? There's certain parts that have something called hellstone in it, and those react to ley lines, and then that opens up portals. You know what ley lines are? No, I was actually just about to ask. Thank you. <laughs> ley lines are connected points of supernatural energy that travel around the planet. They're invisible, completely invisible. Mm. But, uh, yeah. What were you guys doing? We could hear y'all whispering and, you know. We have bad experiences between seeing a group of people and in unknown areas or unusual spots, so we immediately become a little nervous because of these bad experiences. So we were trying to debate whether or not to just leave or confront. Confront? Yeah, talk. And then if there's aggression, then I guess we're just gonna... I don't know what the heck we're gonna do. Either just defense or run. <laughs> Probably run. <laughs> Yeah, probably run would be safest. Yeah. I personally don't want to deal with any conflict right now. Especially with Zeldris <laughs> over there. As he just looks over to Zeldris. His hair is don't on fire. Is. Oh. Don't know who he is, but he's got, he's got really cool hair. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't talk too much. You guys are talking to this dude. Whose face is like this, and his eye. Oh. So, how can I help y'all? <laughs> oh, well, it's like, like, like you said, we're just, just here for him because the portal will be here. I don't really know what, what else we really need. <laughs> um, the, what was it called? The, 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 the scythe and the, oh my gosh. Right. What? The words, creature, item, the the I trinket man. Are you talking about the trinket man quest to go fight a blood leviathan? Oh, you guys got a quest from the trinket yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, nice dude. Yeah, very probably. Yeah, that's how we get sales. But um. Oh, do y'all have a way back from the underworld? No. Well, I know that the doors in are closed. I'm not sure about the doors out, though. As far as I know, they are. But I could be wrong. I haven't been recently. Oh, by the way, my name's Infra. That's Lynn, Shy, and Zeldris. We're all boss hunters, so we all just came here as a group. Well, oh, we're not cool. we're not boss hunters. At least that's what we say. We're part of something called the Vanguard. Yeah, kind of like boss hunters, but opposite. <laughs> Y'all get comfy. I don't know how I'm long like, it's gonna take. What? No, I was just mumbling to myself. <laughs> Y'all get comfy. We're, I don't know how long this is going to take. Hell, it might not even open. Oh, okay. That's true. Hey. Are you two thinking about joining the Vanguard? Huh? Um, we didn't really hear about it until right now, so um, I still don't have a clear idea about what it is. Or what you guys do in the basics. You said that, that you guys are like boss hunters, but the opposite, I don't... Well, the Vanguard, we live atop a flying city of Leviathan. Um, 
and we chase down leviathans that are close to their death date. Ones that are like 60, 100 years old. And we escort them to the uh, father of all leviathans. We just follow them, making sure that nothing kills them before they get there. You don't have to be a boss. You can be, you know, something else. But it's advised that you are, usually. So you can actually find the father of all Leviathans. If y'all don't want to join, that's fine. I'm just, you know, I'm a recruiter and whatnot. I mean, it definitely oh, counts. Okay. Yeah, we'll it's, think about it. It's a lot of opportunity, you know, so just think about it. Yeah, definitely. I'm just gonna just kind of just get distracted, just exploring just like around the whole area of the cave and just kind of finding stone, just make like uh, little drawings on the, on the walls. Alright. Next, what are you doing? Drawing. You wanna join? We could do tic tac toe. I'm good. Huh? No. I'm good. Oh. Okay. Dang. Oh. Did you guys ever hear about the death of the uh, father of all Leviathans? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. So, in order for it to be transported, all of it, it has to def. Uh, it has to to die to be destroyed, essentially. Mm -hmm. At least that's what we think. And the father of all leviathans consumes worlds. From what we understand. It eats them. Once all life mm -hmm. has died on the world. Of course. So what's going to happen now that he is on... Uh, we think he's going to be transported. He's immortal, so... You know. Oh. Okay. Oh, my back. Ray, what's your thoughts on it? Ah, uh, sorry. Um... Oh, out. I don't know. I don't, I don't really have... As the... Of, sorry? <coughs> what were you saying, Nicole? I wasn't, that was the end of my statement. Oh. A crack opens up as black and white sparkles are within that crack. Oh. Hey. Infra walks over and says, Is that it? Mom, well, no. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Looks about right, I would think. The black is so dark. It's almost like a liquid. Like you can see yourself in it, but there is no actual reflection. Should I touch it to find out? Um. Ain't gonna know until you poke it. Yeah, yeah, you will once you do it. <laughs> if it sucks you in. Well, yes. never know until you try. Yeah. You know there's technology, right? Like, you guys don't need to be absolute idiots. <laughs> like, there's. I was actually just gonna try throwing something and see what would happen to it. But that works too. How would you know? How would you know what happens to it? How would you figure that out? Hmm. 
standing there for it? Uh, no, but when I went to go say it out loud, it sounded really dumb, so I just didn't say it. <laughs> I don't think that we have any technology to check it. You guys do, I assume? How's it work? Uh, no, we don't have any. Oh. Maybe you two could go in and see what's going on? I mean, we only have, like, an hour before it shuts. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's true. Okay, just gonna just go put, put my arm through. But, uh, what's, no. What's another mistake? The What's second, another missing limb? The second you poke it, your arm gets sucked all the way through and the rest of you does as well. Uh, I'm just going to have my last no, hand just no, like waving the thumbs up no, the front way. Ray, you just watched Nyx get sucked in through the portal. Oh, okay. I'm going to go after her now and pray that she's not dead. Good luck. Thank you. I walk over and just kind of jump on in. Jumping in, you get sucked through in as well as you guys appear in a deep black nothing. Deep darkness. No vision. You guys can barely feel each other. The only thing that you can see is your essence. It Make sounds like the ocean is on top of you. But there's nothing. Yeah. Oh. Here's one. Yep. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I don't know if we're in the right spot or not. I don't Why know if we can go back. Walk backwards. Arm in it? What? Why did you stick your arm in it? Hmm. There's only way we're gonna be able to do something, and we're just gonna stand there all willy nilly, and everyone was just gonna get annoyed for not being able to do anything, so I might as well have done something. Why? Why? Did you just like uh, you wanna be saying? What's that word? What's that sound? What did that whisper say? Why do you come to the void? I'm void. Did it mean to come to the void meant to go into the underworld, Sarbad? You doomed your fate. What? You doomed yourselves. You want to find a way out, right? What do you mean we've doomed ourselves? Unless you are celestial, there is no out. The void is endless. I'm Eternal celestial. Crawling. I'm celestial and she's an old god. You are a seedling, yet to be grown as a tree. You're barely even born. But you're correct. You are pure. Your father is well known, and your brother challenged you for a crown. And you are an old god, but not completely. So what are you? What? Wait, what do you mean? You are pure. You're mortal. Almost. 
I'm what? He said you're mortal. Yeah, almost. mortal and says almost. Almost. Oh, he said almost. Yeah. That kind of explains the fact I didn't get an, um, any signs of abilities or anything like until like the team, so. That could explain a few, few things, maybe? Maybe? Maybe not. Yeah, and mortals discover their abilities when they're about seven. Oh, the least is four. It means you're strong. Oh, that's nice to know. So, Celestial, how do you plan on leaving? My void. I attempt to teleport out. That is pointless. Teleportation. That requires you to be in the universe. The movement of atoms, where you merely sit still, is impossible. But there's always a way out. Just close your eyes and just think for a moment. You got this, Ray. I believe in you. You're leaving, aren't you? You're talking like you're not going to be here. No, I am. I'm just saying, because the, cause these folks are on you right now, I want to be able to help you through on your turn. Okay. Uh, don't disappear, I'll be but, mad. But, but IRL, I do gotta go. <laughs> there she goes. Tell me, Ray. Tell me something. And please. Try to be a, as honest as you can. Okay. Hello? I, I said okay. Do you not recognize me? You know me. Don't you? That I do. Why were you sent to my realm? My friend fell through a portal. I followed. Well, she kind of got sucked into it. Foolish. Or curious. Curious. And foolish. Something you should admit about your friends. Huh? Something you can admit about your friend. I don't know why she did it. She knew it was dumb. Why was I killed? Ray. Huh? Why was I killed? Murdered. Do you know and you're just testing me, or...? I truly wanted her. I don't know. I've sat here for what feels like an eternity, and I can't, for the life of me, figure out 
figure out what an idea that evokes death. Do you know how much chaos and destruction could have been prevented? If I was there. I recall being told that you didn't really intervene with mortal affairs. No. Not. Not after they are born. I set the dice rolling of all mortals. Since the first one, my plan has been invoked. Merely because I wish to see my humans prosper. At least I did. No, I don't want. I just exist. It's a boring fate. You probably don't, but I will play it for you anyways. Do you recognize this melody? I Actually, I don't. Don't you? It's a part of your nature. Something that was built into you. To recognize this is to be human. Stopping you from leaving. My chained other side. My wrath being bound to his bed. This part of me is my purity. This part of me. Is all the destruction, manipulation, and corruption the true evil? I believe your grandfather understood that. For me to exist, I need both. Even though I wish that was not the case. Red. Red. I'm listening. Will you help me? Help you what? Live. Try again. I've seen what happens if I'm free, and I've seen, unfortunately, what happens if I'm not. So, if you can, 
break the chains on the black hand's breath. So that I may be free again. That would be appreciated. I have nothing to give. You died, right? That request. I'm sorry. You died, right? No. There is no death for celestials and old gods. Contrary to what people may believe. If you were mortal, would you be Go ahead. If you were mortal, would you be dead right now? Yes. I don't think that I can let you out in good conscience. Why is that? You said that you don't know what you did. As you see and the Godfeller appear in your hand. The information I have about you is extremely limited. I'm sorry? The, ex the information I have about you is extremely limited. Then how is it your place to decide my fate? It isn't. Not going to argue with you. I just had a request. That's all. If I knew who put you here or why. Yes. Because, because I, I punished him. him. For doing what? Killing, Killing my, my sister. sister. Slaughtering her and eating her. Who was your sister? For threatening to kill my planet. My creation. Your grandfather was a doom caller, a warmonger. My sister was the old god of beauty. And he killed her. 
the stall. The first human I ever made. He took him from me. Your adopted father, Cain. He stole him. He was mad. Because I punished him for killing my sister. I should have slain him when I had the opportunity, but I didn't. But I don't want to. Not anymore. I just want to live. I just want out. Do you understand? Actually, I do. Fully. To want nothing more than to live? Sorry. I actually do understand that. Fully. To want nothing more than to just live. If you were to let me out, this would most likely be the last you ever see of me. Where would you go? I would create a world where nothing happens. Just me. And if I wish for something to be on that world, I'll make it. Yeah, I think God, God fell over your, your hands, hands right. right. You, you could strike me down, down or, or set, set me free, free. or we'll leave. leave. It's, it's your, your choice. choice. You, you have free will. will. No, it really is hard to decide. I have heard a few things about you, and none of them were good. I am aware. I can, I can tell, tell you whether or not they're, they're true. true. One, One thing, thing that's, that's for certain, certain. Is I only ever lied once. What was that lie? What my grand plan was. Huh? What my plan was. It wasn't alive, causing pain and suffering. It's because, because I prefer to, to keep, keep it to myself. myself. That's, That's all. all. I, guess I guess your decision, decision will have to wait for the, the next, next session. session.